Hi there, welcome back to the channel. So, I don't typically use pedals, but I've been experimenting with coming up with smaller rigs. And my main rig that I've been playing is my 18 wide. I have my 18 wide head here, goes on the 4x12, goes on my new 2x12 that I just got, new to me at least. It's an old, uh, 19, not an old, but from the early 90s, a 1936 cab. And in, in the studio, I'm going to run them to record them, both of them. And live, I have that one, or I have this one, but every once in a while, I'm on a stage that's really small. And of course, I love my Deluxe for recording and for certain applications, but to create the Dynamite Death Chair sound, I need kind of like a bigger sound, right? So what I'm looking for is I'm going to use pedals in order to get kind of the 18-watt tone to come through the Fender Deluxe. Uh, which makes the, the Fender Deluxe, I think, is one of the all-time most versatile amps anyway. And it's also an amp that people are very familiar with, so I think it's a good, a good amp to use pedals with. I don't like experimenting with pedals with my 18-watt, mainly because the 18-watt uh, gives me all the natural distortion I want by just completely turning it up. It's a Class A amp, and the pedal just doesn't really showcase itself very well with it. There's also not a really a clean channel on this amp. Uh, I typically have it cranked all the way up in the first channel, the dirtiest channel, and that's basically my dirty clean tone. Uh, I get some kind of clean, it's not super distorted, uh, but it's not clean either. The Deluxe cleans up beautifully. It's one of the most wonderful clean sounding amps I've ever heard. And when you have something like this fuzz face, uh, by BYOC pedals, uh, you can really get like a nice like super duper 60s kind of distorted tone uh, that will give you sort of like that you know dynamite explosive sound that I get from my 18 watt through a smaller amp like a Fender Deluxe. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you and I'm using the, uh, the Deluxe because it's such a great amp for, for pedals. Uh, so anyway what this is is a BYOC build your own clone fuzz face pedal. They, I bought this a long time ago. Uh, I don't think BYOC had been around that long. Uh, I think it was like in 2005, six ish, uh, when I when I found th this company. And the reason that I like BYOC is I think that they provide you know a great product. Uh, uh, you get all the stuff that you need, and they go out of their way to like find the right kind of transistors. Uh, like in this one, it uses uh, germanium. Uh, transistors which is really cool because that's the original transistors that are in the fuzz face that kind of give you that fuzzy kind of spitty tone. Uh, silicone resistors uh, or, or um, transistors are quite, are quite good as well and they give you kind of a more modern tone. Uh, so the germanium if you want that kind of 60s thing uh, you get it with this uh, BYOC uh, pedal and uh, so I really like their uh, all their components that they use, they use good good stuff. The resistors, the caps, uh, the uh, switchcraft parts typically, uh, CTS pots, things like that. Uh, the switches are quality, the enclosures are good. Uh, everything is good. You know, when you get the pedal, you're getting, you're, you're paying for good stuff. And then it's up to you to, you know, do the artwork or whatever. I did a pretty, pretty pathetic, um, paint job on this. The reason I chose red is because this is based on I think the Arbiter fuzz face that Hendrix used. Uh, I think Jim Dunlop makes a, a version of that uh, now and it was always painted red. It's kind of like a circular petal so I just decided to paint it red you know as uh, an homage to that plus uh, red spray paint was readily available but I think the best thing to do is to like bake the paint you know like you get a toaster oven and you paint it and you bake it at like 200 and, if you follow, if you follow the uh, instructions of you know people who do this, uh, you can get some really professional results on your own at home uh, for not much money. Uh, so I think that the the pedals are great. They sound good and they're good quality. The other thing I really like about uh, BYOC pedals and why I think you should get one and build it is if you have any interest in electronics like soldering or getting into amp building or kit making or building guitars and that kind of thing and you want to you want to have control of your sound and you want to pick the components and the values of the of the, the different things that are going to go into the pedal this is a great way to learn and uh, you can get uh, some very authentic like 60s sounding stuff um, 
by building your own uh, through a company like BYOC. So let's just do a demo and see what it sounds like and I'll let you see if you can see what it is I'm trying to achieve with a pedal and like a small deluxe in order to get more of a, you know, like a big nasty sound like what you'd get from a Marshall. Okay, so let's take, oh, and uh, like I said before, this uh, is the Jimi Hendrix pedal, I think, the fuzz face uh, with the geranium transistors. It gives you that kind of like sound. And apparently, Jimmy uh, used a deluxe, uh, used Fender amps at least. I'm not sure if it was always a deluxe, but he used small Fender combos with a fuzz face in the studio. Uh, I did hear a live recording of Voodoo Child recently, and he was definitely using a Marshall, you could tell, live. I think it was made perhaps a JMP, like full stack. Uh, they had a very much, did not have a Marshall tone, but I have noticed like on the Are You Experienced album, there's definitely, uh, I don't know if it's always a Fender, but there's definitely a Fender tone going on with the fuzz face on that record. Strat, Fender amp, some kind of fuzz face pedal. Uh, the, the Arbiter uh, uh, was the one he was using. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, output here with a very short cable. Then I'm going to go input here. And then what I'll do is I found that with this pedal in order to get, I've got the volume at five, right? So I like to match my gain. So I don't want to step on this and have it be quieter or louder, right? So I'm going to try to match gain. And I think that matching gain on this one ended up being at like the three quarter point on the volume. And then here on the tone, I'll just start with it at 12 o'clock and we can play with it so you can see how far you can take the fuzz. But about at uh, the three quarter mark, you know, 75%, seems like it matches with about five on here and you could turn it up depending on how, like if you went to seven, you could take it all the way up, maybe seven or eight, you could take it all the way up. Uh, but it, because I like the gain, I like the, the volume level to match. I don't want to have a huge difference when I step on the pedal. Okay, so let's see what happens here. <clears throat> Okay, I'll take it out of standby. Okay, so here is the amp clean. We'll just have it clean here for a second. Okay, that's nothing. There's no pedal there. It's just directly into the amp. I'm going to step on the pedal. Now. a little bit more. Okay, let's listen to it. I'm going to roll it back just so you can hear what it sounds like with le just both of them at 12 o'clock. just turn it up a little bit to see what it would sound like if I was trying to get I'm gonna put it on like seven and then I have the pedal both settings at 12 o'clock let's see if we can get like a nasty gnarly power chord tone <laughs> still at 12 o'clock. Let's go back to 12 with the fuzz 
and go all the way up with the volume and see what the difference is there. This is bedroom bit level. Okay, 12 o'clock level. Getting closer to a show. And then 75%. This is where you start getting told to turn down by the sound. Man. itself is a uh, true bypass and I typically uh, run these uh, with uh, battery power uh, but you can plug it in it has the the 9 volt for it okay I'm liking it I think these pedals are great I think this sounds fantastic if you want that 60s germanium Hendrix fuzz tone build your own clone pedal that way you get to build you get to learn you get to craft your sound right it's awesome Take control of your sound, have fun. All right, thanks again. I'll do a, a review on the, the other one that I've got, the, um, the Randy Rhodes one, uh, Distortion Plus, next time.